What's up, guys? Welcome back to the next episode of the 5 Seconds of Courage podcast. We're so excited for you to be listening and joining along this week. Um, we've been talking a lot about like big picture, um, kind of macro level courage, what it looks like to make courageous decisions and how they impact your life. How uh, something way far or way in the past or something way in the future will be affected by how we do or make decisions today. Um, But we're going to kind of like be super vulnerable and just be like, hey, how are we doing day to day? The decisions Buddy and I are making like yesterday or two hours ago or um, just stuff like that and kind of break it down to a micro level, super um, relevant, super applicable just to be like real life, day to day life. How does making a crazy decision this afternoon while I'm at lunch, how does it affect tomorrow? So we're going to be going to be talking about that. Um, And so I just want to start off with a question for Buddy. One, buddy, how have you been and how have you been making or not making courageous decisions in the last, like, three days? Well, the last three days, let's see, would be this weekend mm-hmm. uh, and then yesterday. Yeah, so pretty much uh, me and this weekend, my best friend Clayton came down and we went to Charleston uh, and it was a really neat time, I think just to spend time with him and like carve out time out of a busy schedule for him and for me it just takes courage because it's like we can get so caught up in this rhythmic life of okay well we're just going to do the same thing every sunday same thing every monday same thing every tuesday you know yeah and we don't throw in time for spontaneous i mean spontaneous trips where your best friend can drive an hour and a half and then y'all drive an hour and a half to hang out with some more guys um Mm -hmm. so i think that just took courage because my initial reaction was just like, oh man, I got some stuff. He had some stuff. So it was really tough to just be like, hey, we're not going to, you know, we're mm-hmm. going to move plans around. We're going to work out. I mean, you know, work stuff out a little bit. Um, and that takes some courage because that makes us a little bit uncomfortable. Kind of moving your schedule around yeah. and saying no to stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Um, and so I think that in and of itself is courageous. And then on an intentionality perspective of just, spending time with people Mm -hmm. um and like more than just surface level let's go throw a football but it's like hey let's drive down to charleston hang out with some guys pour into them hang out with them we played basketball sand volleyball watch match march madness we didn't do much it wasn't like we went and did this like revival type time but it was just let's be intentional let's check in on them there are some younger guys that we went to high school with his younger brother that a freshman in college let's go check on their you know just hang out with them we hadn't seen them uh, and so I think it takes courage ultimately to be very intentional in the same way of, okay, well now we're having to sacrifice time, take time out, you know, of our rhythmic lives. Now let's throw in another element of let's be courageous in a way of let's be intentional with that time and do more than just, you know, go hang out for a second, mm-hmm. but let's like have some deep conversations, check in on each other. And so I think that's one way I have me personally, or I've seen, you know, people that I'm close with Clayton and different people be courageous over the last three days. Yeah. Um, and uh, how I've not been courageous, that might take a second, but if I think about it, I would love yeah. to love to think. What about you? What What do you think this last three days? I know you've been a little bit busy. You went to Myrtle Beach and you went, you had a pretty big night last night. So what do you think these last three days have cultivated some yeah. day-to-day courageousness in your life? Yeah. Um, I... Well, I, I went on a trip, too, this weekend, went to the beach. Um, but I honestly think I have not made any courageous decisions, even in the last, like, couple of days or even weeks. Um, I think I think the cool thing about making a courageous decision is it puts you outside your comfort zone. Definitely. And life is so much more, it's a lot more scary, but it's a lot more fun outside your comfort zone um, because you learn more, it's fun. It's uncomfortable, but if you do it in community, it's just like you get so much closer with friends. um, And it's just a lot more fun. You laugh a lot more than when you're just like comfortable doing what you do. Like you were saying, oh, Monday, this is what I do on Mondays. This is what I do on Tuesdays. Um, And I don't think I've made any courageous decisions recently. Um, And I think I've kind of felt the, the, the effects of that. Kind of like just being like, oh, this is just what we do. You know, just bored doing basic stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think that's something that um, 
kind of we talked about the challenges in previous weeks like hey challenge you to make a creative decision around this or just kind of each topic we talk about each week um, and kind of applying it to your own life and I, I kind of want to start doing those too like um, I know there was something on the Instagram story of like hey what did you do episode episode two's challenge or whatever mm-hmm. um, and I, I kind of want to do that um, but the problem that I've had is I haven't been like searching for it I think sometimes we like can fall into making a courageous decision, but like you kept saying, like being intentional. Um, I think we got to be intentional with making courageous decisions. And so if we can like talk about it on this micro level, like, hey, I want to be intentional about making a courageous decision today. Yeah. Or even like you were saying before we even started recording, like it's not like we're making big decisions every single day. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you got, you know, you make, there's probably 10 to 20 big decisions in your life, you know, yeah. who you're going to marry, where you're going to go to college, your job, how many, you know, like those are big decisions that you have to really bring a lot of counsel in, and, or hopefully you do, uh, but ultimately, what are you doing? I'm looking up how many decisions you make in a day, uh, or okay. how many, yeah. A day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's like, those are just, those are the big ones that we've kind of been hitting on, but ultimately we were just thinking, we're like, now let's get really down to day to day, the last, mm-hmm. you, I mean, you just asked the question of the last three days, what's well, like, and those were very small examples of, like, they're nothing big, you know, you're not making these huge, courageous decisions every yeah. day, every week, every month, like, it's probably, there's years between these big, like, when was the last time we've had to make just a life-altering decision in our head, mm-hmm. but that's also where I think we, sometimes we're like, oh, these big decisions, like, those are the only ones that matter. Yeah. And it's actually these day to day ones because we're almost putting, we're compartmentalizing what God can do. If we only say, oh, well, he's only going to do big, like what, that's just a term we toss around. Yeah. But it's like, oh, these decisions are the only big ones. Well, like, yeah, whoever you're going to marry one day, that's a huge decision. I'm not, you know, (laughs) taking weight off of that, but I'm putting more weight on the day to day ones so Mm -hmm. we don't fall into this apathetic, unintentional, Mm-hmm. rhythmic life that just is kind of going through the motions like we have what two months left of school like what mm-hmm. are we going to do the last two months yeah you know well i looked it up you make 30 about thirty-five thousand decisions cow, every single okay. day um so i mean anything from like what shoes do i wear to what am i going to eat to yeah true. stuff like that um and so if at least one of those thirty-five thousand decisions each day can be a courageous one like how cool would that be, yeah. right? It doesn't have to be big, but like you're saying, I even reference like, or use it like in goals. Mm-hmm. If I have a big goal that I want to accomplish in my life, like a lifelong goal, you can't just be like, all right, that's the goal I want to attain. I'll, I'll just work my way there, I guess. You have to have like little steps. Like you can't just like climb up the mountain. You got to have like little steps to get up to the top of the yeah, mountain. You can't just jump up there. Um, and I think the same thing is with big courageous decisions is you have to have little courageous decisions each and every day. Um, and we were kind of talking about this, like we were maybe going to make it a, a topic of an episode too, but like training that courage muscle is like if you make a courageous decision about something little and you kind of like make a bunch of little courage decisions, it makes it a lot easier to obey and make a big courageous yeah, decision definitely. when one comes your way. Because like we we're saying, they don't come every day but they will come like 10, I like that, like 10 to 12 big decisions, yeah, life altering decisions yeah, in your life. Well. Yeah. That sounded about right. Hold I mean, on, let me look it up, make sure that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so for the people who don't, who are watching this on Spotify, or listening to this on Spotify, Joseph was looking up something earlier. That's yeah. why I'd asked that. I whipped um, out my phone. So I agree. I think it's very easy to think of like, oh, courageousness as this big picture thing. And we've been talking about it kind of like that these last, seven episodes just to kind of set up what we want to do i feel like i move my hands a lot sorry guys uh (laughs) no but i think we want to bring that just to a lower Mm -hmm. um like day to day i feel like i've said that like 10 times today sorry guys yeah well that's what we're talking about yeah it's like and being able to like it's in sports you always heard your coach say like muscle memory muscle Mm -hmm. like reps 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 of Mm -hmm. like you know, if you're playing baseball, like just hit grounders and get that muscle memory of getting it out of your glove and throwing it to first. Or soccer, it's like get that muscle memory of receiving the ball and playing it to somebody else. And so I think it's the same way of courage. Of Obviously, it's not muscle memory because courageousness is not a 
you, you're not using muscle. I mean, you're using math if you're talking. You're using different muscles to ultimately, but ultimately it's like a mind, mm-hmm. mind memory. A decision. Yeah, yeah, it's a decision. And so being able to train ourselves in these little things like just day to day of, okay, well, I'm going to be courageous and go talk to this person or be courageous and open up with some close friends about what I'm going through or be courageous and taking time out of my day where I would usually just watch Netflix and chill to go like invest in a new friendship or take time out where I want to usually just sleep and like be apathetic and actually go do homework and really grind out some schoolwork and stuff like that like those things are courageous and we like I was saying earlier we compartmentalize them into being like oh those aren't that courageous those are just day-to-day decisions but ultimately it's a little bit selfish and prideful to say those aren't big because ultimately all of these little decisions like okay, yes, God uses who you're going to marry to determine it, you know, a path of your life. Like, that is very altering. You're living with someone yeah. forever. But you can also, like, the decision to just, like, go hang out with someone or, like, going back to what we had said early on in this podcast, we hadn't brought it up a ton more, but, like, the decision I made to DM you and you to respond to a DM, you, you took, I mean, it took courageousness or courage to send that DM, but it also took some courage to reply and like set that up. And so in that, it's like, wow, that no one would really think like, oh, that's a lot of courage. Those are those little day to day, like, oh, small things. But ultimately that's huge. Like we are, we are so small and have so little power to say, oh, these are small, you know, these Mm -hmm. are unmeaningful decisions. It's like, well, God, it's so much bigger and he can use any courageous decision when it's filled by the Holy Spirit to like do whatever, make a friendship, you know, bring someone to Christ in some way, strengthen your own relationship with the Lord, open up and be vulnerable and be able to work through these things. And so I think that was something we hadn't really planned to talk about, but yeah. the just importance of the day-to-day decisions um, and allowing God to use those, use your courageousness in those decisions to do something, you know, whatever he has planned and whatever that looks like. Yeah. But is, has there ever been a time in your life where you make a decision that you think is so minor and, like, doesn't matter, and it ends up being like, well, I'm glad I did that, or, man, I wish I would have done that because I didn't realize the, like, weight that that decision had? I'm trying to think. Um, I haven't really thought about that, honestly. Mm-hmm. And I think that goes back to show that I don't, in my own day-to-day life, I don't put a lot of importance on small decisions. Yeah. And, like, I just kind of autopilot those mm-hmm. when it's, like, obviously, like, what to wear, what shoes to put on. Like, that's kind of, like, it's not, you're not putting, you know, yeah. using courage in that. That's just, like, okay, well, I could have put on my white shoes. I could have been on my black shoes. I could have put on my gray shoes. I put on my gray shoes today yeah. because <laughs> I had a gray shirt. I thought that would look cool. Style. I don't know. Style. Uh, but, like, that doesn't really matter, but going into these other decisions of just being intentional, being vulnerable, being like caring for people, that takes a lot of courage, stepping out of your comfort zone, inconveniencing Mm -hmm. yourself for somebody else, like those little things that we think is just like, that's not that much, like those are, that is taking courage. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, at least half of the population is not doing that when they have that chance. Yeah. It's like, okay, well you can step outside your comfort zone and go love somebody, it's gonna be difficult. Mm -hmm. Well I guarantee you, people out there aren't doing that. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I bet you, one just example was I was talking to somebody, uh, they just had time this week, they're a leader, and so they're pouring into people a lot. Uh, and so this week they had the opportunity to get poured into. Uh, and they easily could have shied away and done the easy thing of just like, I'm not really gonna open up, I've been going through some stuff that's just been tough, emotional, difficult, uh, but I can just, you know, kind of, stay away from that, suppress that. But ultimately it took the courage to be like, you know what, I'm gonna talk about this. I'm gonna bring this to light. I'm gonna put my emotions out there. And uh, they said it was very helpful and it was tough. It's, it's a lot of the day-to-day things are tough to do, like stepping out of our comfort zone. Like that's never easy. No one really wants to do that. No one mm-hmm. wants to open up and be vulnerable and talk about a ton of emotions and stuff. But through that adversity and that like, not feeling great for a little bit probably comes a lot of fruit that we don't see and that we don't allow God to do because we take those small things as like oh this is there's not much in this there's not much weight there's not much 
depth in this when ultimately <clears throat> I think there is, and that didn't really answer your question. Um, no, but, that's... but I think it like reminded your question reminded me to go into these smaller day to day decisions of like, oh, I'm having a conversation with a guy. I mean, someone texts me wanting to hang out, and I really just I don't have time to. But being intentional, following up, going out of my way to figure out time to hang out with him, so hopefully, you know, he gets more involved with our life group stuff like that. It's like those are the ways. Like you, I guess that was a question you asked earlier. When I was I not courageous? When did I not? make a decision and I think that was it I just stayed in my comfort zone it's a lot easier to just say hey I have stuff planned sorry I can't you know I can't grab lunch these two days yeah but it's like ultimately I can probably move things around I can figure it out yeah so I guess if that answers your question yeah it, it kind of does um and I, even as I was asking it like I was like the only reason I can ask that question is in the like previous tense like what things or what small decisions in the past did you make or not make that you were like wow they actually had a lot of weight mm -hmm. in the future um, because the reality is we don't know what small decisions that I make today have a lot of weight for the future. Now, some do like, oh, where I go to school, like we shared, like kind of like choosing what college we wanted to yeah. go to. Um, and like, you know that or like who you're going to marry or where you're going to like where you work or a certain job offer that you take or um, whether you retire now or retire in two years, um, like all that stuff, you don't those are you kind of know they're bigger mm -hmm. decisions. But the day-to-day -day stuff, we can't know that a small decision I make today doesn't impact me 20, 30 years down the line. Um, and so that's why we gotta be intentional with making creative decisions. It's like, we, even with the small ones, like they could have an impact later in life, um, which is cool. But it's mm -hmm. also kind of like, feels like a little bit of pressure. Like, oh, dang it, like, I don't want my small decisions to make an impact. Yeah. But that's one thing you realize as you get older, you think you're in high school, like, all oh, the decisions I make today aren't going to affect me. But you got to learn in high school, like, if you make a dumb decision, yeah, you'll kind of feel the consequences of that. Definitely. Same thing in college. Well, maybe some people don't know that. <laughs> I was, uh, it just reminded me, there was a sermon on uh, parenting, which doesn't really apply to me now, but it was really good going into the future. Hopefully one day I'll, you know. I well, that's, it'll apply to me. I have, like, four kids right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was just talking about, I mean, when you think about it, there's probably... When you're when you have a child, mm -hmm. uh, not you. I mean, yeah, you personally, but people out there and just in general. Yeah, probably some uh, people listening. Yeah. So there's a lot of times when they are a very young baby where they're not like picking up on stuff. Like you're not having a dialogue, but a lot of the small things that you do have a very big impact on their you know growth as a person. And you're not thinking that because they don't have a lot of you know they're not really receptive yeah. to what's going on. But it's like, I don't, and I don't know all the ways, I'm no parent and I don't, I'm not, you know, experienced or knowledgeable in that. But I just remember him saying a lot of the small things that you do as a young parent to a newborn early have a lot of like psychological, maybe emotional, yeah. like different impacts. And that's the same way when you pull it out of just the picture of a young parent to a newborn child. But it's like these little small decisions have a lot more weight than what we think. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's really cool to take these day-to-day -day decisions and not blow them up into anything huge. Because when you do that, then that brings that pressure. You know, you know they're day-to-day. -day. If you mess up, that's okay. But allow, it, allow, uh, allow yourself to know that there is weight. Mm -hmm. And in that, I think, taking it more serious and being more intentional about those decisions. Mm -hmm. I think I have an example. Let's hear it. I would love to. Okay, so I have this friend. His name is David. And he was just kind of living kind of crazy in high school. And we were friends, or like we had the same cl uh, class in middle school where we sat together like the whole year, or sat next to each other the whole year, mm -hmm. just like random seating, how the teachers do it. Um, and I was kind of lost contact with him and going into high school we kind of went our separate ways not intentionally just like yeah, how it works happens. out um and i just saw him with it i went to the gym one night and he was there too and i walked up to him and was like hey david uh like how's it going like i haven't seen you in a while and so we started talking and um one thing led to another and just for me going to the gym that day seeing David there being like, hey, you want to hang out? Um, we started hanging out and then 
I kind of like learned more of his story and learned more of like what he was going through in that time. Um, and then I was like, hey, can I, can I pick you up? Um, so I picked him up from his house. We started giving rides to each other, going to the gym. Um, and then David started hanging out with like the friends I was hanging out with. Yeah. He kind of became a part of the friend group. And now like David is one of my best friends in the whole wide world just from like going to the gym one night. You know what I mean? Like little decisions. Like if I wouldn't have gone to the gym that night, probably wouldn't have seen him. Yeah. Probably wouldn't have talked to him. And so it's like, not that that's a courageous, courageous decision, but tying that into making a courageous decision, yeah. like little decisions, even if they're like a little bit scary, but you're like, oh, it won't matter. Like that's such a small decision. Why do I have to be courageous in that? It's not going to matter. It might. Yeah. You know, you I mean, never know. To wrap this all up, it's like when you go into those small decisions that you do not think matter, some of them won't mm -hmm. matter in the grand scheme of things. They will be, you know, it's like, okay. We'll go into the gym that night. You might have just been in your own lane. You never saw anyone. And, like, that's not the end of the world. Maybe a couple times later you go to the gym. You probably mm -hmm. went to the gym before that. Maybe he was there or something mm -hmm. and you didn't talk. But it's going into each, to wrap this all up, going into each day-to-day -day decision, opening up the, uh, like, time. So opening up the decision to allow God to use it in whatever way. Mm -hmm. And just know that, okay, this might not have a lot of weight to it. This could be just a day-to-day -day decision of I'm going to hang out with some guys on the horseshoe. Mm -hmm. But ultimately knowing the weight of it, well, okay, God could really use this small decision to do some really cool things down the road. Mm -hmm. And I think you just shared a great example with that. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Well, guys, if you, um, if you haven't listened to previous episodes, go ahead and check them out. Um, sometimes we do build off them or reference them, um, even though they are pretty independent episodes too. So go back, check those out. If you haven't already, check out our website, um, five seconds of Check out some of our stuff there. Um, and guys, we'll see you next week.